new fresh faces in Chicago, and we're super excited to have our next comedian. Um, I'm 41, so I don't remember shit. I gotta use my card, sorry. <laughs> I'm taking Gingo Biloba or whatever the hell. Um, our next comedian, um, she's producer on Why Didn't Mike. She's gonna be starting that on uh, Instagram. Is that IG? I'm on the grams, is that what the kids say? Um, also, Raw Talk Radio, co executive producer. That's gonna be heading up on YouTube soon. So just make sure after the show you guys follow her on all the social medias and all those things. So start clapping now. We're clapping. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here for a lot of reasons, but I've been in the audience for Las Locas before, so this is awesome to actually be on the show. So, I also really wanted to be on the show because I knew you guys would not mess up the pronunciation of my name. <laughs> so that's always nice. Um, my name is Delmi. It's spelled D-E-L-M-Y. I'm doing that out of the habit because I worked at a call center, so I spent a lot of time spelling my name. <laughs> um, it has a German origin, which means noble protector. I've also known my origin story since I was nine, because apparently people think that nine-year-olds with unique names know their origin story. <laughs> um, it's not short for anything, and don't make it any shorter. It's just, it's fine how it is. Um, I'm one of three. Um, my brother's name is Ron, my sister's name is Anna, they sound like second generation journalists. <laughs> and then came Delmi. My mom loves to tell the story about how she didn't know if she was going to have a boy or a girl. So if I was going to be a boy, she was going to name me Oliver. And as a girl, I guess she hadn't heard of Olivia? <laughs> Olive? Yeah. <laughs> no, she just went straight ethnic. She just went for the name that sounds just like the artist formerly known as Delmi. You know, <laughs> so there's a lot of there's a lot of weight to my name, but I've I've grown into it. Um, anyone here from Chicago, like actually from Chicago? <laughs> yeah. so what's up? So I'm from Chicago. I'm from the south end of Chicago, from a neighborhood called. Right? Don't get too excited yeah. though, because you can't drive by there at night. So. <laughs> I hope you don't know it. It's called Back of the Yards. I heard a groan. Like it's not like someone over here got mugged. It got mugged there, right? Something happened. But um, it goes by other names if you don't know it, like Drug Den, <laughs> Scene of the Crime, <laughs> Where That Thing Happened, <laughs> and that other thing. But no, not that thing. Like we're known for very specific crimes there. You know? But um, I. Yeah, I'm not tough at all. I'm hood soft. <laughs> I'm hood by default, you know? Just, just because I grew up there. Like, I, I couldn't have done what some of our parents did. Like, some of our parents came from other countries. Like, they left their entire country and they came here. Like, my mom came from Central America, which means she went from Central America to Mexico, a desert, and then she came here. I honestly think the desert part is probably why I feel a little Jewish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Something happened in that desert. You know? But I, I couldn't have done what she did. Like, she left her country. I can barely leave my bed. <laughs> you know? I couldn't have done what she did. I couldn't have done what her parents did. Like, I, anyone here anxious, depressed, or a parent? I just want a lot of this. Yes! <laughs> Chances are if you're the last one, you might be the first two. You know? <laughs> just but I was an anxious and depressed kid, and I don't think it's that bad to have an anxious or depressed kid. I still remember getting the Stranger Danger talk and being suspicious of the teacher <laughs> because I was like, wait, Ms. Casas Flores Hernandez, why? why do we know all three of your last names, but we don't know any of your first names? <laughs> and now you're telling us that strangers are dangerous? Like, I don't know, guys, I'm a little suspicious of her. So, um, yeah, so you won't have to worry about your kid running off with strangers, right? 
as teenagers, you won't have to worry that your kid will end up in other people's beds because, like I said, I struggled less getting out of my own bed, you know? And, like, as adults, like, you just, I don't know, being, being an anxious and, and depressed person has kept me safe. That's all, basically, that I'm trying to tell you guys, you know? <laughs> Nothing really happened because of that. Um, like, you didn't even have to worry about me drinking, getting pregnant, or doing drugs, because like I said, I live in a neighborhood that's known as a drug den, and I didn't know where to find drugs, because I was inside. <laughs> so if you have a kid who's a little shy, or a little bit of a shut-in, it's, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. I moved out at 32 years old. <laughs> I'm 33 now. <laughs> Usually I get like shocked based on my age. Like the light is actually hitting me in a nice spot right now. Usually people are like, whoa, you're 33, that's crazy. <laughs> so that, that's the reaction I want, right? So I'm going to say it one more time. So <laughs> moved out at 32, I'm 33 now. <laughs> Now, you know what? I'll take it. 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 Usually I got two and that's too much, but my self is hanging lives in a sub basement. You know? First floor right now. But I moved out. I learned a lot living on my own. Like I said, I took a deep breath right now because someone always offers to walk me in my car and it's always creepy. <laughs> Don't, my brother's right there, so it's cool. <laughs> also laugh a little at the one of the jokes I'm about to tell that I'm gonna say in front of my brother, so just Oh, bear with me. I learned a lot though, living on my own. Like I discovered the foods that make me stop crying. Like I keep Oreos in the house for two reasons. One is obvious. The next one is, have you ever looked at yourself eating an Oreo? <laughs> Sobbing? It stops like that. Instantly. Instantly. I was like, mm, you know? I just I also discovered that I should probably save my hard snacks for when I have company over. I don't want to choke. You, know I mean? <laughs> you guys know that if you get murdered in Chicago, there's a 50-50 chance they're, they're going to solve it? That's messed up, right? What if I choke on a corn nut? Like, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to top the list and like, let's get this solved by the day, you know? It's going to be like 81 days later when the autopsy comes back and they tell my mom, like, it was a corn nut. She's going to be like, but she's made of corn. Like, how did that happen? She's made of tortillas and tamales and pozole. Like, I'm really sure that corn took her out. You know? I don't think so, you know? I also think about like how I'll be found, like I don't, you know when, you, when you're about to get in the shower and you're just with yourself, right? You might have a nice deposit. I don't do that anymore, guys. I don't want to be found that way. I'm afraid that if I'll be found that way, then I'll just come back to life based on how embarrassed I am, how the paramedics found me. You know, I'm gonna leave with this last one, only because I really, really want to do it in front of my brother to embarrass him. <laughs> Another thing that ladies, some of us like to accessorize before bed, right? I think about how I'll be found now. Like, I like putting on and having enough scarves next to me, right? <laughs> but sometimes when I try on scarves, I fall asleep. <laughs> I don't want to be found with four scarves. <laughs> so what do I do now? I put two of them away before I go to bed. So, this has been informational, this has been fun. Thanks so much, guys.